Well, here we are. We're in the boat working on the dashboard. So as you can see, we got two here. We got one up here for the gauges. These down here for all the controls. All the toggle switch and fuses are here. So as I ripped the old one apart, first thing I noticed was these holes aren't wide enough. Here's the new pieces we cut out from the CNC machine. So I just have to extend this hole a little wider, as with on this side as well. And then we can fit the new plates in. So I just made a new panel here, added the fish finder. Um, I pre-assembled this panel so then I can connect all the wires on the back end. So what I'm doing is I just brought the wooden dashboard down from the, from the shop. So I'm just fitting it here. These are still loose in here. I had to chisel away some in here because it was hitting this piece of fabric. So these are loose. So what I want to do is I want to dry fit this. Make sure the wooden dashboard is tight against uh, this blue backer here. Find the position where I want this to go. I'm going to hold that here. Pull this out carefully, making sure the black inlay does not move. And with this, I'll mark these holes, drill them out, and secure this here. So I got stainless steel screws here, 5 8 long, number 8, Robertson. I wouldn't normally use a flathead here. I should have should have used a pan head. But the guy from Fasten all messed up on me, so this is what we got. I don't think you're moving that anytime soon. Should be able to finish this up in the basement. I'll just get it varnished up. Test all the switches, make sure they're working. And then we gotta start taking apart that bad boy. So it's pretty simple by the looks of it. Over here my finger is, we've got a ground, big ground on this big RPM gauge. And then we've got a positive by the looks of it. Each one is grounded. And then we have a sender wire going to each one. So I'll make a note of all these wires and then we'll start ripping her apart. Oh, the fish finder's in the way. Come on. There we go. Now time to recreate this. So here's the new dashboard here. As you can see, we've got the hole cut out here for the GPS module flip it over. I've carefully machined this so that we can fit our module in there. So all I have here is just a 5 inch screen from Amazon, Raspberry Pi on the back, a uh, little HDMI connector. So this, see what's nice and cut out there, fits perfectly in there and the screen is going to be flush at the front. Another day in the boat here, got this uh, bottom dashboard temporarily mounted here. What I'm going to do is just clamp it and then we can go at it from the back just drill it up in. That way you don't see any screws on the front face. So it looks like we have everything working here. I just flicked the fish finder light on. That turns my fish finder on. And GPS here. And I can search right now. I've just got it in the middle of the lake, but there's my compass and then my speedometer because there's no speedometer. Uh, it's just a rip em gauge. Temp fuel. I threw in this hour clock here just to know how many hours I put on it. Everything else works here. Nav lights, anchor, check it out, docking lights, interior glow. Gonna be sweet. And then here is a voltmeter and dual USB charging port, just because the girls like to charge their phones in the middle of the water. And then I wired up the horn too. So everything's working sweet. All I gotta do is put the steering wheel in, and this dashboard is officially done. Let's just hope the sun doesn't destroy it. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if there's anything more you want to learn about or have some questions regarding the finish or you know what sort of code I did on the CNC machine where I got my parts from just give me just leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you thanks for watching